All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's content is 110% random clips. Um, I've been crazy busy at my office with work and uh, I build houses for a living uh, and we've just been swamped. So I have like, I think it's, I lost track of the, ca track of the countdown for FL2K, the race we're trying to make. Um, there was a race in Orlando, Baldi's, um, the first weekend of October and we're not going to make it we're hopefully going to be able to have the car done to test somewhere um but i'm not driving all the way to orlando just to get a hit or two of testing and then uh go out first round because we have no data but we got a couple things to get done left on the car the car is at um one of my buddy's shops getting some special work done to it right now i pick it up tonight or tomorrow by noon um and then it goes to blacklist and I heard uh, Matt told me that all of our new Holly stuff came in, um, all the new Dominator and all the all the new upgrades that Matt has ordered for me. Um, that is all arrived at the shop. So who will be getting the car? Uh, he has to mount the hood, the hatch, the Lexan window, the new carbon fiber wing, um, a dry shaft loop. Um, we're gonna make the inner cooler a little bit bigger. Um, just fine tune everything on the car and get it 100% before we go out here and test. Um, so we are not going to make Baldi's unfortunately. Um, but we are going to make FL 2k and it's still going to be wicked, wicked tight. Cause I have to pick up the car still take it down the mat. They're going to have it for a couple days to do all the stuff. I mean, that's all easy stuff for them doing hood and random things like that, but they're going to have it still for a couple days. Um, then I'm hoping to take it down to Waltz to dyno the car and then to get a private test in somewhere down at Bradenton more than likely um, before FL2K. Um, and then I still have to get it down to Project Prime for him to do stickers on my trailer and everything else. So, and we're doing all this in, I believe it's less than 12 days. So we have a lot of stuff to do um, and the car is still in pieces. So what you're about to see is a bunch of random clips. Um, one of the guys down at Blacklist picked up some videos of little Joey's car testing and the S10 doing some more testing. I heard they both went out there and did uh, picked up some on their personal best, so that's good. Um, so here's some clips of that. After that, it's just a bunch of random stuff that me and my son have been doing on the tractor where uh, I, I think if you guys remember, uh, we built the shop and then I, I'm thinking about doing a pole barn beside the shop. Just some shop upgrades and some things I had to get rid of. Uh, so we just chopped some trees and had some fun. So making random content while the car's in pieces and I have nothing on Spanky right now. So hope you guys like it. The next video will be of Spanky and the secret that has been waiting. So stay tuned, watch the video. Love you guys, catch you later.
today's version. <sighs> How fucked up is fucked up. Let's snatch her up this thing and see what happens. One. <laughs> okay. Whack the tree. Whack. <laughs> You're a hillbilly. You look like a hillbilly Eminem. boys there we go got the big girl backed up beside the shop got the tree removed i just was able to sneak it by there i'm gonna have to get a stump grinder over here grind the stump but our question was was the garage going to be tall enough to clear it looks taller than that it looks like the ac is super super close though so Let's see it's close i'm hoping to get away with doing a pole barn here like a 40 by 25 or 20 or 30 something like that so we have some extra room for the tractors and stuff like that but looks pretty dang good now i can plug in the ac to the side of the shop get the pole barn up get the millings driveway done got nash a new play set coming together. Whew.